Okay. Wow. Yesterday was all about the speed. You got to go fast. It was all about Sonic. So today I thought I'd go for something a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more chill. Now this is called Terra Nil, and I played it a lot on the personal computer on my PC. Now I'm trying it out because it's also involved um, in the Netflix program. It may sound a little bit like Zelda right now, but that's just because I have the speed of the video up fairly high. It's basically the opposite of a, a city builder game. So in this situation, you are tasked with some burnt ground that's been destroyed by maybe or nuclear waste or maybe destroyed by um, global warming, global warming, global warming um, in the future. And it's your task to bring it back to beauty. So we're doing this by installing some power, some power grids. Now the reason I said it's the opposite, and then we need to install some little units that will scrub the ground, clean the dirt and make it useful. There we go, make it useful again. So that's now useful soil. And then once we've install, installed the scrubbers that are making the useful soil, there we go, number four, then now we can turn it back into grasslands. Now this is where I found the first glitch of the game. It says that you can rotate these units, but uh, because there's a button to rotate it, uh, yeah, it just glitches. It keeps calling the unit. You can't figure out where it is. You can't rotate it where it is on the screen. It wants to follow where your finger is. It just kind of drove me nuts. And this wasn't a problem that we experienced with the mouse and keyboard, because obviously you've got a lot better control here. You're tapping the rotate button, but then it's moving the the building that it's rotating at the same time. So that was pretty frustrating, I have to say. There is a lot to read and a lot to learn, but, you know, once you get used to and figure out what you're doing, it's not that difficult, really. Um, there's a few elements, and there we've opened up. And this is going to be the entirety of my map. So this is the space that I need to regenerate back to a beautiful area and then once I've finished that I have to go about removing all of the structures that I've created. You're also going to cre create lots of different biomes so here we have a grassland area we're going to be creating the different biomes um, to make it a harmonious harmonious place. So now we need to put in some water so now we're filling up the water areas with the water pumps and that's going to assist with other things so filling up the water areas here this is a lot faster this is going a lot faster see anywhere that we need um, power we need to put in these windmills to give us the power uh, I do have the speed of the video quite high here and now we can start scrubbing some soil again to make that soil useful again and we're trying to fill out this space there we go so we're trying to make the most convenient the most practical way to add the grass because we are using resources and then you do get the resources back like here we go so now we've got this green grassland is up and running so the next thing I'm going to look at is some trees so we've added some beehives to the trees which is giving us flowers now that's another type of biome so we're filling up the grasslands we're filling up the flower areas but we want to have woodlands ah there we've added some some wetlands here so that's giving filling up if you look at the top left then it's filling up the space that says the wetlands but now we want to have some more forests oh, sorry about the aspect ratio it's changed around so now i'm going to set fire to those lovely lovely little flowers that I've created and once we start a fire and you've got to be uh, strategic about where you set these fires because you might be burning far too much because you need to turn this space so now we have a nice ashy space full of lots of nutrients full of ash that's where we can start building our 
forests again. And again with the forest, we can propagate the forests with beehives so that we can create flowers. But I've, I've burnt away too much of that, that green grassland. Then there's nowhere for the flowers to go. So there, I'm trying to build up my flower area again, but it's a little bit tricky as to where to put them because I've burnt so much of it up. But anyway, there's uh, three main biomes. We've got the wetlands, we've got the forest, and we've got the grasslands. And now we've come down to the final part of the game, which is cleaning up, cleaning up the mess you've made, basically. So destroying all of these buildings that you've created, now that the environment is working its way without your help, you can clean up, you can just use these little units that destroy the buildings that you've created. And this is all where, also where I found the next glitch of the game, which again I didn't have this problem on. So here in the corner I'm using one of these units to tidy up all of those buildings, but then I can't destroy that unit. So the, the unit that destroys the previous structures you've made, ah, then you put in this little boat which is going to go and collect the rubbish. See, that's going to collect these units. And in that way you've completely cleaned that up. And the idea is that you go through and you take away all of the man-made structures that you've put in here. See, there we go. So I put in another one of these collection units. Then the little boat's going to come round. Where is he? There he is. The little boat's going to come round and collect all of that rubbish. But I found that these destruction units or these collection units can't destroy themselves. So here in the corner, I've got a ton of these constructed, these units here that I need to get rid of but I have no way of moving them closer to the water. And this is a definite glitch. I didn't have this problem on, on, on the computer. And honestly, I tried to start again, but I had just lost the heart for it at that point. So I kind of gave up. So if you can avoid these problems and you might not have the same problems I'm experiencing and you're into a really chill game, then I think you'll love it.